In a previous segment of this course, we talked about using Storyboard and creating a Storyboard framework that we can then use to create our apps and our games. Well, let's take what we've learned here in this Saving and Loading Files section about saving and loading data, preferences specifically, and let's apply that to the Storyboard framework. So you should still have Storyboard Framework installed in Outlaw if you're using Outlaw, or it's on your hard drive if not. And the first thing we need to do is copy GG data into the Storyboard Framework location. So if you're in Outlaw, it's very easy. Just grab it and drop it down into that project, and now you have a copy of it there. If you're not using Outlaw, just find ggdata.lua on your hard drive and copy it. Don't move it because you'll still want it in with these other files, but make a copy of it and copy it into your storyboard framework. Now let's open up main.lua and include local ggdata equals require ggdata. So we're pulling it in here. And what we're going to do in this video here is save and load audio can play. So this is a flag to check to see if we should be playing the music during our game or not. So we need to be able to tell whether the audio should be playing or not. We already have a flag here in this framework. And so right down toward the bottom, we're going to create two new functions. And the first one is going to be called load prefs. And we don't say local in front of it. This needs to be a global function because we're going to be calling it, or we may be calling it from other places inside this program. So it's just function load prefs. And we do local prefs equals, and this is the same thing that we did before, gg data new, and then the name of the prefs file. And we'll just say prefs.txt. And then we're going to set our global variable that I showed you up above just a moment ago audio can play equals prefs dot audio can play. Now what happens the first time through here when this actually doesn't exist? Well then we'll do this. Or true. So if prefs dot audio can play exists because we've previously saved the preferences, then it'll use that. Otherwise it'll use true so that the default will be go ahead and play the audio. And the other function we're going to do, again another global function, it's called save prefs, not passing any parameters into this either. And the first line is actually going to be exactly the same. So we'll just copy and paste it in there. We're going to open it up. It'll load it in. And now we set prefs.audiocanplay equals audio can play. And this audio can play belongs to this table, to this object. This audio can play is the one that's up above in the source code. So even though they have the same name, this is the global variable, this belongs to this object alone. And then we do prefs, save, and that is it. Okay, so that is all for here. One more thing to do, and that is load prefs right down here at the bottom. So before we jump away to here to the menu, we're going to load the prefs, and by loading prefs, audio can play is going to be set correctly. So let's save that and go into Options. And here we're going to put in a checkbox to decide whether music should be on or off. So local widget equals, we have to require the widget library. And then down inside of Create Scene, we're printing the options, a title at the top and a back button at the bottom. So in between there, let's go ahead and create a checkbox. Local CB music equals widget.new switch. And we're supposed to set the left and the top, but we're going to override those in a minute, but we'll go ahead and set them because they say to set them, so we'll do that. Left is zero, top is zero. The style is going to be a checkbox. We could do an on off, but let's just go with checkbox right now. And initial switch state, this is going to be, is it going to show up checked or unchecked? And that is going to depend on that global variable, audio can play. So at the very beginning, if it's set to true, when this comes in here, initial switch state will be true or checked. If audio can play has already been set to false, such as being loaded from the preferences where it was saved as false, then this switch will show up in the unchecked state. And then on press equals, we'll just call it CB listener. And now let's go ahead and do CB music dot X equals center X plus 10, just a little bit off center. CBmusic.y equals center y. 
one more thing to do, and that is the checkbox by itself doesn't say anything, so people won't know what it is. So we need to put in some text here. So we'll do CB music text equals display dot new text, and we'll just call it play music with a colon, and we'll just go with the default zero zero Helvetica and eighteen points. CB music text set reference point. We're gonna actually set the reference point different than normal. We're gonna set it to center right reference because we're going to line it up with the checkbox. So CB music text dot X equals CB music dot X minus CB music dot width. That'll shove it over to the left of the actual checkbox. And CB music text dot Y equals CB music dot Y. Other thing we need to remember to do is insert this into the group since it's part of storyboard. And the same thing for the checkbox itself. All right, those two are done. Let's go up to where the functions go and create a local function called CB listener. Event record will be passed in. And what we're going to do here is we're going to set the audio can play global variable is going to equal event.target. That is the checkbox that we're pounding on. And we'll use a property called is on, and it'll either be true or false. So if the checkbox is checked, is on will be true. So we'll be setting audio can play to true. If the checkbox is not turned on, if it's not checked, this will be false. And we'll be setting audio can play to false. Other thing we do is call save prefs. And that should take care of it. So let's go ahead and try this. All right, here we go. And let's go with options, play music, and we can check and uncheck. Okay, so we will uncheck that. We'll go back out here, go back in. It should be unchecked, good. And also let's go ahead and open the project sandbox. Go in here and see what this says actually. So audio can play is set to false. Let's go in here, check that. Go look at this again. Audio can play, set to true. Okay, so we can see that it is actually happening, even though we can't see it here. We can see the results of it. So now you have a way in your storyboard framework to be able to turn on and off music. And of course, you can add some other things to this so it's not just music. Maybe there's something else or a high score. Whatever it is, you're able to save it the same way by setting the value and then calling save prefs. And again, we're setting the value in global variables because that way the variable itself can live here in main. So if you were going to have a high score, you could say high score equals zero. And then down here in load prefs, you're going to go high score equals prefs dot high score or zero. And down here, you'll say prefs dot high score equals high score, and it'll save that. Okay, now how are we going to test this? Let's test this by going over in the play screen. In the play screen, we'll just say high score equals 142, and then we'll just do a call to save prefs. So let's go ahead and try this now on the fly. We've got options, we've got music. Let's do play game. And now let's go look at Project Sandbox. Open this up. We've got audio can play is true, and we have high score 142. So play around with this, but now you have a way to save and load preferences in your storyboard framework.